I can take an item. This is item D0001. These are the cost groups I was talking about. So here I have four different kinds of labor that I'm tracking to that item. I have uh, three different ways of tracking material to that item. And I have four different ways of tracking overhead to that item. So different kinds of material inputs. They could be direct. They could be subcontract. Uh, they could be um, uh, coming from a different subassembly. Uh, and then different kinds of labor. It could be run labor, could be set up labor, quality, management, stuff like that. So I can put all this in, I can figure it out, I can put in my unit prices for whatever my unit is, so for every minute or every unit or every each, you know, and then from that I can, I can figure out a pricing as opposed to a cost, and I can put in formulas to automatically bump a price by a percentage of cost or a factor of cost um, so that I can start building out a, a, uh, a two price. So here is where I am, here is where I'm heading to. And then once again, my new costing modules and screens are giving me some graphical information on what does that look like. So here is what my cost is right now. When I change my cost, it's going to be reduced by $100.73. And because of the color coding, uh, I can see immediately somewhere along the line, my material costs have gone down $100 or almost a quarter of the cost of this item. And so instead of having to drill through hundreds of lines, I have some really good information as to where I need to go to go and analyze that bill of material, um, what could be the source of it, and I get this in advance of me releasing a new cost out onto the uh, shop floor. Um, so I have these, uh, this compare item price storage page that um, dynamically adjusts columns. It aggregates my balances depending on configurations um, that I'm making as I'm noodling with this item. I can add a filter, so uh, items with the largest net change are always listed at the top of the grid. Um, I can drill down through this so that I can see a net change by a cost group type or a cost group. And then if I really want to get down to the lowest possible level, um, I can direct hot link to the actual cost calculation. Um, uh, detail level of data. So I can come in from a really high level, a really good graphic. I can have a, a screen that's going to be assessing for me where are my cost changes coming, where are my levels of activity, where is the system feeling that I should be managing um, cost changes or proposed cost changes in a more real time or a more advanced notice uh, workspace. This is particularly true for people using standard costing, uh, where you don't you don't want to do a set it and forget it, but you do want to do a set it and forget it. But you want to have some insight into when we need to be making those changes. What is the trigger for making those changes? And so all of the new cost accounting analysis and uh, comparing item price. A functionality and screens is really making a difference uh, in terms of giving you tools in your toolbox for that. 